house in Crete is all but finished, and Brian and Andrew plan to move in today with partners in the project, Pete and Les. However, all has not gone smoothly. Last week, Brian was devastated when he had to cancel his giant picture window. But with the money they saved on the window, Andrew was quick to hatch a plan to buy Pete and Les out and convert the downstairs into holiday lets. Looking after the two apartments will then give Brian a job. Brian wasn't keen and deliberately let slip Andrew's secret plan to Pete and Les. It sounds as though you want to buy us off. We've lost their dream. We go back to Wales and we've lost their dream. Now because you're not having a window, you thought, oh, we can buy them off. No, 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 that's not Well, that's how it's coming over to me. coming across like that. It's coming across like that. Because if you buy us out now, that's it, it's finished. Disaster. Andrew's plan to buy out Pete and Les has dealt a devastating blow to them. Why did you have to mention that now? Well, it just sort of came out. I said to you we would put some plans down on paper because they want to change what they want to do downstairs so we can put another set of plans to them. Okay. You know, jump the gun, now look what's happened. I just feel devastated. Well, no more than I am. I don't know where to go from here. I just feel as though the last year's been all for nothing. Well, that's how I feel. I've just wasted a year. Relationships are in tatters. It's a takeover bid. And I feel it looks as though it's a fairly hostile takeover bid. Hang on a second, you two. This whole thing has got totally and utterly out of hand and out of proportion. An innocent suggestion. I mean, Andrew doesn't know what to do because he wouldn't upset either of you for the world. It was a suggestion to help. It's obviously turned out as an insult. And that was never, ever the intention. I'm glad you see it as an insult, Brian, because that's exactly how I see it. Well, the whole thing is out of court. It's not even up for discussion. That is it. It was talked about. You've exploded. You've got upset. Andrew's upset. It's finished. It will be as you want it. I can't in my wildest dreams imagine why you thought we'd go for that. It was meant to be a discussion we would have when we were all in there, settled, and we could have a discussion. It wasn't meant to be a great big row and a hullabaloo and all the rest of it. But I don't know why you mentioned it, Brian. No, then, I don't know why you mentioned be... it. I knew it'd be turned round to me. I, I knew it. It's my fault because it was my idea. So, so have you guarantee that that is dead in the water? A absolutely, Les. You have my word. You have our, our word. word. OK. Is there any beers in that fridge? Yes. He's like the murder one. Well, we'll all uh, have to share the beer, because there's only one, I think, left. Oh, is there? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Status quo, and I don't mean the band. <laughs> you do? Little lady. Little. <laughs> I never drink out of a can. I don't normally. No style. I've never seen you as a style guru. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. It's rather a deep drop from there. <laughs> so, a crisis seems to have been averted. And with the team planning to move in that afternoon, it's just as well. Although there is still work to do, the house is perfectly habitable. Two sunny bedrooms, a dining room, a kitchen, one of two bathrooms, a lounge leading onto an elegant balcony from which a sweeping staircase leads down to the pool. Hard to imagine now that work only started on the plot 
five months ago. Well, there's an olive tree right in the middle of the lounge. Could we leave it as a feature? I think it's brilliant. So what scream? <laughs> and as the weeks went by, through some of the worst winter weather Crete has seen for over 50 years, the team watched as the house began to take shape. From the drawing board to this, mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely magnificent. Is this going to be finished on the 16th of March? Depends how you want the house when you enter. We want it finished. <laughs> <laughs> And finally now, it's time for the team to pack up their belongings from the rented house and head down to their new home. Should we take a cat each? I've got yes. one. It's only a five minute hop, but there's no way to tell the cats that. And the last time they were put into these boxes, it was for the flight over. A journey that eventually lasted the best part of a week. Drop in. Quickly. Grab it. Grab it. For all of them, though, this is the last leg of an adventure that started way back last May, when the team first travelled to Crete together in search of a plot of land. Brian was in trouble almost immediately when his luggage failed to turn up. The bag doesn't seem to be here. Crap. Have you got it well labelled? Thank you, Pete. You're heading for a Crete and smack in a minute. <laughs> if you'd lose it, I've got a good T-shirt you can borrow. Very, very funny. Oh, pull the um, shirt down. Here's the little top. Well, don't worry. Um, Andrew's attempt to find something for Brian to wear on his first morning in Crete was the cause of no end of amusement. It's not on. I should hide in here. It was the largest I could find. Well, it's not big. Well, you look like a tourist. That's what we I are. Look a complete prat. Brian's a proud man. He's fussy about the labels he wears, and clearly the list does not include Walt Disney. If they laugh, they won't laugh. If they laugh, they that's won't it. laugh. I bet they do. They will not. I bet they do. <laughs> there you are. I told you. Sorry, Brian. I'm going for breakfast only. No, I'm not going out like this at all. No. I'm going shopping first. We'll eat later. Okay, that's it. Oh, Brian, Brian, not that bad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but Brian's embarrassment on their first trip didn't end with his wardrobe. So we thought this time we'd have a real car, not a little noddy car. I'm driving that one. That door's not shut. What did you just say? I said we'd have a real car, not a noddy car. The bargain people uh, carrier he'd hired to ferry the team around... You are joking. ...turned out to be the size of a matchbox. Well, bloody good job we have only got three k. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't funny. It will carry people, but not very big ones. Getting into the car proved challenge enough. <laughs> lucky, lucky we're married. <laughs> but driving it was Brian's undoing. It took him the first day to realise it wasn't an automatic. And a further three days to reach fourth gear. Hang on, we're in fifth. It's like there's a month of Sundays in that little car. Yeah. But at least then, Brian had four wheels. Now he's been reduced to two. So I'm going with Brian, is that right? Why, well, you're going scooter? I was going to scooter. Going scooter. <laughs> <laughs> you can do if you want to. Um, no. <laughs> Got your scooter key? Yeah, and the worry beads. Will you do the gate? Sorry? Will you do the gate? Yes, I'll do the gate. Thank you so much. Tally ho. Tally ho. They've gone without me. I'll do my Steve McQueen impression. Just a few minutes later, and they've all reached Journey's End. The dogs are introduced to their new home. To that many. No. no chewing. And the cats can't believe their luck at the brevity of their journey. Right, lads. Whole new place to explore. Have a little bond. These pets session. are Brian and Andrew's family. And five months ago, on this very spot, there was a clash of cultures when their fondness for animals came head to head with a Cretan building tradition. 
Who is going to who is going to kill it? You mean you don't know that? No. no. You don't do that in England. No. no. How do you put the houses? You have a you have to put some blood on the foundation. No. No. I want no party to it at all. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't like the way it's been held. No, 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 no. no. When they lose their guns, yeah. he knows for what he's here. <laughs> Uh, if the earthquake uh, comes, or if uh, we have uh, delays and everything. There'll be no delays. It's your fault. And there were, of course, delays and all manner of problems. So maybe Mikhailis was right. But all's well now. And even the dogs can't help but admire the view as the team paused to celebrate their arrival with some welcome refreshment. This is what it's all about. I think this is best by far of all the sites we looked at. Yeah. Hill for the goats. And there can be little doubt that they made the right choice of plot. But Brian's initial plan for finding some land is something he's been trying to forget. Do you remember how we started off? Yeah. Finding a local? Don't remember it at all. <laughs> Hello. We're looking for some land yeah. to build a house. Build a house? Are you money? Yeah, I no problem. My own house is here, where you like, look. The local's name was Anthony, and the first plot he showed them was in fact the remains of his parents' old house. Good heavens. Oh, oh see. Where do you like here? It isn't really what we're looking for. No, we want the view. No view of the sea. Oh, here no sea? No. His next plot belonged to some sheep, but he'd forgotten the keys to the gate. That one is very nice. Uh, I give up everything I give this. Lovely here, everything, look. It did have a view of the sea, though, just. Where can you see it? Electric. But like any wily estate agent, Anthony had saved his best till last. What's well, that? This is the ah. That's just the land. No, 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 no. What's that? This is electric. So that's the view. Yes, look. Through the pylon. Well, our picture window is going to be here. But at this, it's got the bloody pylon. You look it. Oh. But should they not want the pylon, one quick call would apparently sort the whole thing out. Go to the electricity company and go. say, I want the pylon moved and yes, move. Yes, uh, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> So we're, we're stuck with that idea. We'll still be looking. <laughs> Best to let you find out your own mistakes. If we hadn't done it, it would always be, you should have yes. done it this yes. way. Mm. We did it that way, it didn't work. It didn't work, you're right. I accepted that, didn't I? Mm. I gave in gracefully, if you remember. Right, so I ballsed up here. Absolutely. Absolutely. You balls that bright. Yeah. Gracefully? <laughs> You've got a strange idea of yes. graceful, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's how I... His long-term memory's going, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For Brian, the view has always been the most important element. And even when they first saw this plot, they'd never have gone for it if Douglas the developer hadn't eventually come up with an ingenious way of demonstrating to Brian what the view would be like from his balcony. Remember that rickety tower? How could I forget it? This is absolutely breathtaking. This is from our lounge. I mean, that is it. We found it. <laughs> this one doesn't wobble, this one. This balcony. No, I'm afraid, I hope you don't. <laughs> but if the team had had any idea what a roller coaster ride they were about to begin, they might never have embarked on the project. The team have just moved into their new Cretan villa. While Pete and Les will only be using it for holidays, Brian and Andrew are here for good. Can you ever imagine not living here now? No, nah, I can't. This is everything, everything and more. But their decision to make Crete their home meant selling their house in Coventry. And therein lay a problem. But it was a nightmare trying to sell that house in many respects because of the time Factor. A lot of ups and downs concentrated in a fairly brief period of time where normally you spread them over years. Exactly. Um, Showing all those endless people around, oh, trying to keep yeah. you away from them. Mr. Guy? Yeah, okay. Mr. Saunders. Nice to meet you. Come in. Brian's difficulty, having lived in the house for 20 years, was that he took it all too personally when people didn't share his taste. You don't like the colour? It's it, no, it's, it's nice and clean. Dining room? You could certainly 
make big improvements. You could? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think it needs improvements? I think you can certainly do make, make big improvements with it. Yeah. Is there any reason why you've got the curtains over the suite? They're not the throws. Oh, sorry. I apologise. Um, the colour, obviously, colour goes through from the dining room. Yes. So I'd love to change that. You obviously bought a job lot of that, did you? No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the green. What don't you like? It's green, isn't it? Mm. Really green. Yeah. Yes, well, it is called the green room. Yeah, that would account for it then. Yes. Yeah, we may consider an offer, but it, it won't be up to your asking price. Okay. Because. Uh... We won't get it then. That was very pleasant to them in the end. <laughs> yeah, but you put them off. That was the problem. It was trying to make sure when anyone wanted to come round the house, he wasn't in. As the weeks ticked by and no offers came in, Douglas, the developer in Crete, put them under increasing pressure to send through their deposit or lose the plot. I would suggest that it's probably going to be about six weeks. Oh, really? Another six weeks? Yeah. Ah, oh, OK. Uh, yeah, another six weeks. <laughs> it's actually longer than we anticipated, isn't it? You are just giving me a, a bit of aggro here that I could do without. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could say, right, a cheque's bowling its way to you, but it isn't. Brian and Andrew were really up against it. They'd agreed with Pete and Les that they would pay the first two-thirds of the cost of their Cretan villa. But until they found a buyer, they were powerless to raise the cash. I mean, the situation is getting to the point where we're going to have to really take some sort of drastic action. And I've got one idea which I don't know whether to talk to you about. Go on, I'm listening. To speak to Les and Pete. We asked them to bring the sale of their boat forward. They're on holiday at the moment, they're on it. Pete and Les had always planned to fund their share of the villa by the sale of their canal boat, but not until the end of the year. Douglas is pressing for the money to buy the land. And we wondered whether you would come across with your contribution to the project at the beginning rather than at the end. But how are we going to raise that sort of, you know? Well, you did say that you were going to send, sell the boat. Well, yeah, we are, but when we're not going to. This when do you need the money? A couple of weeks. Good oh God, God, Ronnie, it's going to take us three weeks to get back to our moorings. How are we going to sell the boat? We've got somebody on it we're, we're just having a fortnight's holiday with us. I really think that's a blooming nerve. I don't believe we're having this conversation. I must admit, at first, I, you know, it came as such a shock that I didn't know whether I really wanted to carry on. Well, with the project? Mm. Yeah, we did have to think long and hard. Mm. It was an emotional time for us getting rid of it. Yes, I found it more emotional than I thought I was going to. You would but, do. Uh, you yeah. would do. And as luck would have it, just two weeks after Pete and Les sold their boat, Brian and Andrew found their buyer. Well, we said when you came round that you would be the ones that bought We did. You that sort of <laughs> <laughs> when you left, you yes. had a bounce. A bounce, yes. a sparkle. Cheers, you Cheers. But for Brian, it marked the beginning of a highly emotional time. Selling the house was so tough. Saying goodbye was so tough. Little something for you. Oh. There's more to come. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very, very last time. We're going to have a great life in Crete. Um, I, I, I don't know if they're ready for us, <laughs> but we will make an impression. <laughs> it's a very, very sad time. Good house. Yeah. Very good. We were so worried when you said that, you know, you're going to be giving up everything to come to a strange country, but we can see why. And to celebrate their first night in the house, Brian has decided to cook a special dinner. But there's one stipulation. The dress is formal. I am bought a dress, Brian. <laughs> Frocks and Frocks. jackets. Frocks. And you wear the frock. <laughs> I'll do casual tidy. <laughs> you probably might be able to lend you something. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, Pete's got this amazing T-shirt I want you to try. It's a little white vest, isn't it? <laughs>
there, Les. On there. For dinner, we'll give Brian the perfect opportunity to test out his new industrial-sized stove. I mean, what a cooker! <laughs> See, we've even got a rotisserie in there. He hasn't quite got round to reading the instructions yet. That's temperature. Yes, I've... And that's the different function. In fact, it's bringing back memories of another testing time he had in a Cretan kitchen. Do you remember when I had to do that audition for Fortini? <gasps> and she really put me under pressure. This is brilliant. This is really good. This is all fresh. Then he was hoping to get a job at this nearby taverna. I'd like to bring in, introduce English food as well. Like uh, roast beef. Ah. English roast beef. I might like that. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure. You... I think she quite likes me. <laughs> what have we got to eat? A surprise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Slices of lemon inside of it, so it doesn't smell. I'm starving to about you, Lord. His hungry guinea pigs waited impatiently while Brian put the finishing touches to their lunch. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Siga, siga. What sort of fish was it? Did you know? It was a fish, Pete. It was a big fish, like so big. With a, with teeth. If she hadn't been there, I'd have picked it up and put it on the plate. And you'd never have known anything about it. Well, I'm going to tell you now, if you drop the chicken, Brian, You'll pick it up, put it on the yes, plate, the and it all between mm. two fields. Right. Dinner is to be served under the stars. Looks good, there Brian. Go. Well, and though the cuisine may not be typically Greek, under the circumstances, Brian has done them proud. Roast chicken with fresh veg and lashings of gravy. I don't know if anybody realises it or not, but it was exactly a year to the day when we sat round that table in Coventry talking about that bloody window. Why do you have such a problem with it? It I mean, it's fun. very simple. I have got this vision of a vista, and the only way I can see it happening is without a patio door. I want a clear pane of glass. Oh. I can't understand what could be simpler, Andrew. Have you worked out how much that's going to cost? There you are. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's Absolutely it. it. We're talking budget costs of circa £38,000. Oh. What? Thirty-eight <laughs> You're not saying anything. No. no. I think all of us should have been, been a bit more forceful and blown the window out the water from day one. Forget the window, Brian. We've got an ephemeral view, a wonderful view. You've got as much as you can see. As much as you can see. And the window really didn't, wouldn't have made that view any better. I take your point. And after all the trials, the tribulations, the ups and the downs, the end result is what makes the whole journey worthwhile. The future. The future. The future. The future. I will get my window one day.